Hello and welcome to Pep Talk with me, Mr Pepperall. In this episode, I'll be asking, if I want a new lens for my eye, how do I know which one to choose? So we've previously talked a bit about correcting vision using uh, convex or also concave lenses you know, in glasses. However, sometimes the problems with an individual sight can be too extreme and it's actually necessary to replace the lens in the eye. And obviously the first thing a surgeon needs to know when he's replacing a lens is how long is the eyeball. And I mean, the length is the distance from the cornea here to the back of the eye um, in order that you can get a lens with the correct focal length there so how does he find out how long the eye is he does it using ultrasound so this type of scan uh, using ultrasound is actually called an a scan and again same as before a transducer is placed on the front of the eye sending ultrasound pulses into the eye which as we know are reflected back each time they reach the interface between two types of tissue and the reflected pulses are then uh, used to create an image on the screen here and here's a man doing it to a dog and what we actually see from an A scan is one of these plots that I've got here. And the peaks on my plot, which you can see uh, going up here, actually represent the partial reflection of the ultrasound wave being detected by the transducer. And along the bottom here, we have got the amount of time they took to reflect shown um, along the bottom here in uh, seconds. Um, and the time it actually takes for each pulse to be reflected back is what we call the transit time. So I've sketched out a very rough um, A scan here with my peaks on it and the time going by at the bottom. But this is just to show us that if we know what interfaces my pulse has traveled through uh, on its journey through the eye, I can actually match up the transit times with these different interfaces. So you can see that I've got a uh, peak corresponding to the front of the eye, a peak corresponding to the back of the cornea, a peak for the front and for the back of the lens. And I've also got a transit time for the back of my eye so I can use that to work out where my lens needs to focus. So how can I work it out? Well, if I know how long it takes my pulse to get to, to, to travel to the back of the eye and then back to the um, transducer again, I can rearrange my old friend, uh, the distance time speed equation here, okay, to work out the distance that's been traveled. Because remember we did before, we would have done distance divided by time, would have given us um, speed. Well. Now I can rearrange that to work out the distance traveled and I need to know a couple of things for that. Okay, I need to know firstly what my um, the speed of my ultrasound was inside the human body and I know that was 1,500 meters per second. I've recorded on my A scan a transit time of 0 0.00006 four seconds well in that case then i can simply use those two numbers there multiply them together and the product of those two numbers 0 0.096 meters is the distance my pulse has traveled okay and obviously 0 0.096 meters is the same as um 9.6 centimeters or 96 millimeters which is a reasonable distance when we're doing these think about the number you actually get and think could that actual number be inside of an eye but hang on i know what you're thinking that's actually a pretty big eye 9.6 centimeters for an eye well remember what i've actually done is calculated how long it took my pulse to go from the transducer to the back of the eye and back to the transducer again so i need to actually change my calculation slightly what I'm going to need to do is just shifty these out of the way a little bit because I've worked out how long it took to get from the front to the back and back to the front again. I will know half that time. So what I'm actually going to have to do is multiply my whole um, thing by a half here. So if I actually carry out that equation now, a half multiplied by 1,500 multiplied by 0 0.000064 seconds, what that is actually going to give me is this answer 0 0.048 meters or 4.8 centimeters or 48 millimeters and that's actually a bit of a reasonable distance for the length of an eye so now it's time for you to have a go at doing the math on this one uh, here's the question an ultrasound pulse using an a scan has a transit time of 0 0.000030 seconds the speed of the pulse is 1500 meters per second what is the length of the eye so what you need to do now what equation are you going to use substitute your figures in give me the answer in the correct units pause me have a go at doing that and then turn me back on and see how we get on with it
Oh, you finished already. That was quick. Now let's just have a little look at what I did here. So my first step was to write down the equation I'm going to use. So the depth of the boundary or back of the eye is equal to a half or 0 0.5 multiplied by the speed of my pulse in meters per second multiplied by my transit time in seconds. And when I substitute those figures in there, I've got 0 0.5 multiplied by 1500 multiplied by 0 0.0000030 and of course that gives me the answer of 0 0.225 meters or 22.5 millimeters and think about it could that be a reasonable size for an eye well it's quite a small eye based on the numbers i chose but yes that could be if you get something like 2.68 meters obviously that's not the size of an eye so think about the number you get when you get it so that's all we need to know about measuring and calculating distance using ultrasound scans. Any problem with that, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr. Pepperell or email me and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.